Sunday, June 25th, 2017. Matthew. All right, I will start at the beginning to relieve each stressfully painful fear of all you may be thinking. And as presumptuous as that seems, I do this more to clarify my personal worries one by one. All that I don't want you thinking and all that I want you to know. And because there's so much, this letter is really just an opening. An opening to all I hope that follows in this exchange I'm initiating. With the assurance I keep telling myself, you won't reject my attempt here in this and will engage instead. Just in case you feel like I do. In case you feel like you are not ever thought of or remembered with love. I wish you cared. What would be your wish for me, I wonder? I know that no matter how deeply I want you to care doesn't mean that you do or want to or ever will for that matter. I've stayed lost within these many winters between Christmas year the towers fell to now. And for all of these years in between, I've watched now for whoever is present nearby, more and more by the numbered many further within I drew, forlorn with my priceless time that I so wanted to share. Still yet, it remained abandoned by them all, as it was clearly sliding right by, as it has gone unnoticed, ignored as though its moment didn't matter at all. Although exceptions for its value maintained a hefty measure of what I concluded to be a total pitch that I very rarely saw followed through ever, for only when it still has yet to be was it of any worthy profit. However, this shared behavior was another constant I always heard about with plans for the now to come, which by when it arrived wasn't seen then either, for it was now again, and no one saw the seconds before them fading into the next, just when they'd passed with the regret that never did and cannot be changed. It's been so very long and so much has happened. And aside from all the time we've lived apart, nothing seems to ease this painful way in which I live. And in simply a thought of some memory or image in my mind of our beautiful daughter's face. And you. takes me to my knees all over again like it just happened like it was all those years ago playing an endless reel of clips from pieces captured in a sequence that randomly reveals all I imagine that could be or has been in all the time I'm left without her without being right there whenever that's been and there I am, lost in a daydream again, in this condition of my mind that steals me away from whatever I'm in the midst of doing without warning, I'm physically paralyzed, like catatonic almost, out of body, in my head, far away, where I've placed projection, I'm alive. And this is where I may always be found if I am ever absent, behind my eyes with all of Alea's stars and only moon of where my world resides and all belongs to her. Matthew, I have all of the love in the world for you, and I always will. It's done nothing but grow into more love, deeper love with all of the pain we must know and endure to understand the true nature within its greatness. Being all-powerful and encompassing what couldn't hurt more, but somehow it does. And with more pain and devastation, it just takes you in further than the depth beyond what you thought was the bottom. Yet somehow the ground once beneath you is gone as you plummet again like a sinking anchor. And in this, I am and forever will be fascinated within the infinite range, boundless and untouched mostly within love. And the reason that it hurts so fucking much, the cause for it to be so very crippling, truly, and the love familiar, so beautiful, flawless almost, can become so ugly. 
to abandon all at home that was once, once an allegiance. A person can become overwhelmed with far too much at odds. And my confusion just created the space that distance provided for my terminal loneliness. And in this debilitating state of love, on the downside, I've come to know intimately that the pain is only such disruptive agony because the love and absence of what is empty was, is, so very much. It wouldn't be the crumbling brokenness of irreparable loss if we didn't feel so bound to it with absolute devotion. And this intense suffering exists only by living without the love of something so extraordinary. It's beyond any to grasp and make sense of the unbalanced nature of love and disarray. It is easily lost. And in that overlooked simplicity of losing something, it comes to be highly improbable to see what won't look the same for one to find again. I do hope this finds you well with love and soulful beauty's permanence. All of my Led Zeppelins, all of my love, Jody and Elizabeth. Bonus extra freebie twofer, really just topping it off with random oddities and prayer-like vibrations I'm feeling from your direction. <clears throat> Electric shocks of static in the air all around your luminescence, crackling snaps of excitement and fear of all unknown to come that lies just ahead beyond the sunset's bedroom pillow. Sleepy legends that paths before had never made way in or walked on. Everything's a dream when you live with the moon. I just don't want to say goodbye to you yet. I just get so very emotional when this part comes. Ugh. So how about instead of saying goodbye to you, I will whisper to you, here comes the sun. XOXOXONELOVE, Jodine. P.S. I so hope you write back.